I'm so excited to be here at the Tucson Gem Show. We can actually come here, find the new things, and then bring it to our HSN viewers. This is what Tucson's all about. It all starts with one piece, one sample. This is pick and shovel. We meet the miner, we find out where it came from, and then we go from there. I know so many people that the Tucson Gem event is on their bucket list. So we can take something that's so special, so unique, and actually bring that Tucson Gem experience to everybody at home. And we're back. Welcome to our big Tucson Gem event. It's the single largest loose gem show in the entire United States. We send our very own Jay King there to bring you the best of the best. We've got some wonderful rare mine finds and uh, we've got a lot to talk about, including the necklace that I'm wearing. So thanks so much for hanging out with us. My name's Sarah. Jay King is here. He is a master designer, our resident rock hound, and he's bringing you some incredible, rare, unusual, precious gems, including the all-famous semi-precious aquamarine. This is a two-strand beaded necklace. Are you ready for this? At $114.98. If you don't own aquamarine, uh, you, haven't, you haven't seen Jay King's aquamarine. It's so pretty. It's mesmerizing. It's so serene blue. This beautiful opaque shade that I just think is gonna illuminate your entire neckline. It's yours today. Enjoy the five flexible payments we have on everything. Also $5 to fill your entire cart, and that means you can go shopping all night long. It is our last hour with Jay King for the day. Let's talk about Blue Opal. Probably one of the single most important decisions you're going to make today is jumping in on this incredible event price that is $60 off. We're down to $89.95. Give us just a hint of what the Blue Opal's all about. Okay, well, of all the opportunities you've had today, um, actually at this, uh, all day Friday and today, this is, if, you, if there's one thing that you might wanna really seriously consider is this necklace, okay? Um, there's no way that, this is only third time in my entire life 42 years of doing this, actively doing it. This is the third blue opal ever that I've ever discovered. I was working with Colleen on Friday and uh, when we did this necklace, she said it was the first time she'd ever actually even seen blue opal. Mm -hmm. That's how rare it is. Um, and Colleen's been here for a year longer than I've been on the show, <laughs> yeah. but I've been doing it's this for 42 years. And even before the show, this is the third blue opal of, that I've ever found in my entire life. Um, this is amazing, but here again, now I'm gonna be getting this material, um, so we'll be doing more and everything, but this necklace right now, with the rough I have, uh, there's no way that I could cut it and do every, buy, you know, pay for the material, cut it, do everything I need to do, and be even able to sell it to you close to this. Look at the size of the beads. You're gonna absolutely love well, and it. And the material is unbelievable, yeah. all natural. It's exceptional quality. So uh, we have everything on your gemstone wish list and so much more. So if you're a gem collector, if you're a jewelry lover, and if you want something rare and unusual, and this is a brand new mine find. what I have next. Okay, tell us about it. I promised you emeralds. And and there's there's a mistake on 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 this on the on the the story card that we did when I got out here I realized because we were going over it in the green room this is a brand new mine find this is a brand new emerald uh, it's brand spanking new and this comes from Zambia uh, uh, I think that it's showing that it's from Brazil it's not it's Zambia the matching pieces it, it has the right card on it is from uh, it says Zambia it's my fault um, just so you know I I'm taking the blame okay I'll take the wrap <laughs> on this. This was this was my you mistake. You can blame me, Jay. Rocky says blame what, what Sarah, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Emerald is my birthstone, and I have never seen an entire strand of emeralds of Have you ever size, seen anything this size? And this, this is natural. This presence, an all natural, natural emerald. I'm going to throw that on and uh, keep that available for you throughout the hour. But jump in early because we've had we've had several sellouts already in our show tonight. And uh, let's give you a little sneak peek behind the scenes. Let's talk Tucson. It's a bustling international marketplace. There's thousands of vendors and buyers and sellers. It's held every February. It's the single largest loose gem show in the entire world. And if you are a treasure hunter, if you're a designer, it's really the event, and that is where the connections are made, and that's where Jay King connects with all of his longtime friends. Well, it's, I see people, um, you know, uh, uh, not everything happens in Tucson, but the thing is, is with Tucson, 
it's where I met the original miners, and then it all kind of just spider webs yeah. from there. So, but uh, I have a huge extended family all over the world. Um, have you ever been to the Tucson gym? Yes, for okay. many years running. Well, yeah. you know, you need to go. I, I don't know why they don't let all the buyers and all the show. They, they, I don't know. It's, it's something, <laughs> well, you've been there. It is, I gotta I've tell you. I packed my bags. I'm just waiting for someone to give me a plane ticket. I, I, next year I'll buy, I'm, I'm buying. Okay. <laughs> All right, is someone recording this? Jay King is buying next year. Well, you year. know, like Connie, you know, she didn't get to go. But if you've ever been, so it's you've amazing. been. It, it's amazing. It's amazing. It is mind blowing. It will change your life. If, if, you're, if you love jewelry, if you love materials, it, it is like the Super Bowl for what I do. You will, there are, th this show is the largest in the world of its type. Mm. I will meet people at this show that the only time that you'll ever see this material is at the show. Right. The only way that you could see it any other way is to go to the middle of nowhere. In a lot of cases, they don't even, they have generators, they don't even have power lines. They don't, running water is a yeah. stream. I mean, you know, <laughs> they, I, so it's really, really remarkable. Mm -hmm. And I've met so many people and I've gotten so many mind finds because it spins off from there, so. And you know, what's fabulous is that that means that what you see today during this Tucson Gem event is really the best of the best. So jump right in. We've got a beautiful three strand necklace for you. You'll notice all of Jay King's necklaces all have extenders and adjustability on the back. They're all done in all genuine precious gemstones. So all natural stones as well as beautiful precious sterling silver. So the finest of precious metal and some of the most exotic and fun and unusual color combination. Tell us about the, uh, the stones <coughs> we're gonna see in this one. It begins with some beautiful turquoise, okay. Iron Mountain and Seven okay. Peaks. So Seven Peaks, you see the really clear, clear blue like the Robin's Egg blue? That's Seven Peaks. Uh, we actually named that mine because when we got to the mine, you know, we asked him, well, what's the name? I, you know, I've been going to this, this mine for uh, over seven years. Um, and as far as I know, we're the only ones in the States that have any of the material. I don't, they don't have an exclusive on it. Same thing, I've got a, a person in the area that when they are mining it, they, he goes up and they buy everything that's of the quality that I, that I want, right? I don't buy any of the junk and I don't buy any of the mine run. It's, so you're seeing the primo, primo material. So don't think that you just get that nice blue like that and you just had any mine, right? <laughs> There's a lot of negotiation. We do pay a premium price, but we get the premium material. The more greeny so material pretty. that kind of, uh, uh, with the green or the tealy uh, color, um, that comes from Iron Mountain. And then of course, you get that beautiful um, uh, South China Sea coral um, uh, beads there. And I do that just to kind of break it up, you know, and uh, it, it gives it just a little bit more panache, you know, a little bit sparkle like that, just to have that color in there. And you don't want to put a lot, you just want to put just little, little splashes of color. And that's, it really breaks up the, the greens and the blues. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And today's the best time to shop. It's $40 off. It's one of the few items that you haven't perhaps already introduce yourself to, but it's all five-star reviews. So you can read those great reviews on our website at hsn.com and find out why everyone is loving this. I love the fact that it looks like three necklaces that are all layered together, but if you can't ever figure out how to do the layers or how to get just the right lengths, it's already graduated in size. So you have a shorter length, you have a middle length, and then you have that longer length. Each one is done with those beautiful beads that the rondelles up here, they've got sort of the chunky nuggets. You've got that little splash of coral that Jay King mentioned that sort of adds that little uh, fun uh, contrast that really is, I think, the perfect stone to put next to that wonderful high blue seven peaks turquoise. And then you've got even the larger stones down below. You'll, you'll feel the difference when you're wearing natural stones. They feel cool and comfortable and weighty against your skin. You know, one of the, one of the tests that you can do now, this isn't 100%, but it's about 98%, okay? If you, if you wanna know whether a material's real or not, if it's a stone or if it's plastic or it's glass or whatever, take it and put it to your cheek, right? If it's cool, uh, usually that's one of the first signs that it's real, mm -hmm. that it's a stone. If, because it doesn't, it's not an insulator, right? So yeah. um, if it's warm, usually it's kind of a plastic or it's some kind of reconstituted well, material. Well, think about that. What you're seeing today, these are all real, they're all natural. Um, most are untreated, Well, it, right? th this is, the, the colors on these are all natural colors. If you look, what, what's amazing though, if you think you get three strands here, 
you know, what would you normally pay just for a single strand right. of turquoise? It's like getting three We'd be necklaces. in the 120 to 130, 140 range, right? What would you... So you're getting three actual necklaces for the price of one strand. And what would you spend on faux or fake or glass or plastic fashion jewelry? You're getting the real thing. And speaking of the real thing, how about a gigantic, off the charts, stunning, jaw dropping, breathtaking view of turquoise and amber? Look at the size of these amber barrel beads. And then you've got the gorgeous rondelles, an ancient collection that is going to be one of your most prized. I think you'll treasure this for years and years to come. It's also at a spectacular offer today. We took more than $60 off the price or just nearly $60 off the price. So enjoy $144.95. And I know you are famous for your amber. You're famous for your turquoise. If you do one thing that's like a signature J. King look, I think that might be the necklace. It's well, beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's one of the combinations I've, I've uh, used pretty much my entire career. Mm -hmm. You can't really go wrong with it. This is making this, it's kind of making it look too translucent there. Laura, it's even better. This is beautiful, the aqua. Yeah, let's talk about the aquamarine. Uh, by the way, Here's if you're the shopping rough. for the you amber, uh, we have fewer than 100 now to go around in the amber. And if you're excited about that emerald necklace, that also is going very quickly. But let's give you a look at the two-strand aquamarine bead necklace. It is brand new. We'll have matching earrings for you as well. But you're going to love all these pretty pastels. Tell us about your opaque aquamarine. It's got well, this beautiful sort of seawater blue. It's just dreamy and serene and, and really gorgeous with all the pastel shades for spring. Well, hence, uh, uh, you know, you have aqua, which means water in Latin, right? So aquamarine. Yeah. So that, that's where it gets its, its name from because it, it's blue. It's like water. It looks like water. You know, it reminds you of, of, the, of, the, of a very, like a nice uh, soft Caribbean blue. Um, the thing with aquamarine, uh, to tell you the truth, when you saw it in my designs before, um, we were always using chips or something. It's one of the more expensive rough materials. It's uh, very hard to get it. So usually you have to use um, either um, material that's uh, smaller that they can't facet or cut, uh, or it's not of cutting grade size. Um, so I have to tell you when I came on this, and this is the natural material that it comes from, uh, northwestern China. They literally, I found this, um, I, I, I gotta tell you, it's the only, the only aquamarine that I can get, that I can afford uh, to bring you at a really, and a, it's a super, super good deal. We're dealing mine direct on it, but it's the only aqua, it's, it's a really kind of a very high grade aquamarine yeah, that we really get. That's really pretty. Um, but I, actually it's big enough that I can cut big, things with it. I can, I can do all kinds of, of large cabochons, large beads, but this is natural. This, this is how it comes out of the mine. That's what it looks like. Now, this is one of my specimens, but what's really interesting, I, I found this uh, actually on a turquoise buying trip. I was in the middle of nowhere and oh, somebody actually brought this to me. I really didn't know what it was. I thought mm -hmm. it was aqua, but um, mm -hmm. I, I, I wasn't really sure. When we had it tested, I, I went, wow. I love that color. Um, th this, think about this, okay? They actually have this mine. They have to walk back in from the village. It's about, it's uphill. I have pictures of the trail that they take. I'm not, I didn't walk up there, but I have pictures of the mine. Uh, I mean, it, this is a hike, okay? Yeah. This is a really hike. They, they hike up in there. They can only mine it about six months out of the year because they're at such an altitude that it gets snowed in. Um, but there's a mountain that they mine out of, and we have pictures of, of the deposit where they're mining. It's all done by hand. If you went over the mountaintop, actually it's the border and on the other side is Pakistan. So if you can picture in your mind geographically where that is. So, you know, you have Pakistan. So this is Northwestern China. They, you know, even the, the, the local people, they don't really look Chinese. Um, they have more of um, almost like a, a, a Mongolian mm -hmm. um, kind of features. I, um, it, it very, very different. Um, they, they almost, you know, like um, they could be like Pakistani or they, they kind of have different features. They don't look Chinese whatsoever. It, they, they got a very, um, I, I've got pictures of kind of some group photos and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, so it was, th this is what's really fun. So it's when not go, easy to get to. When you go to these remote <laughs> areas, well, think about this, okay? So wow. they walk, literally, it's about, it's about 20, 25 miles back up this path to go to the deposit. They, um, they do this all with pry bars, uh, chisels, pry bars. Um, they go up there, they camp for two or three days. 
they chisel off the material, they grate it up there, they cob it out so they, they get rid of all the host rock, they put it in their backpacks. Now, think about this. If you were gonna carry something down on your back for that far, right, would you bring the worst grade material or would you bring the best grade material? Uh, I think it won't take you very many trips before you yeah. decide to bring the best sure. grade material. Uh, it was really so amazing pretty. for us to, because they had been selling this on local markets and stuff and not really getting much for it. Um, so we're, we're really working on a, you know, it's really kind of a cool thing that we're all doing together uh, to be able to get this, this grade of aquamarine. And, you know, again, you can get big pieces, you get large pieces. But, okay, so anyway, they get it down to the village, okay? There is kind of a road into the village, kind of, I mean by like four wheel drive. So you get in there, so they have to get it down. How, the, how, the, how we get this is it goes, okay, so they bring it to the village. Once they get enough, uh, we have somebody that actually picks it up in this uh, four by four. They take it down, they take it down to a railway. We put it on the railway. The railway takes it to, uh, to the harbor. The harbor, we put it in a container, and the container we ship it to wow. our to where we, so, we do our lab. So gives new meaning work. to the phrase. It takes a village. <laughs> <laughs> in this case, it, it takes like. Do, do you know that uh, this is uh, true? And most people, you know, like beautiful. I tell people this, and they don't. They just go, "What?" You know, in the majority of the cases, the freight and the shipping and the logistics of getting it to the cutting shop, sure. in most cases, costs more than buying the material. More than the material itself. Well, look at how beautiful this material is. And you get all these beautiful, again, hand-selected, hand-sorted, they're handmade, they're hand-strung, hand-beaded necklaces, solid sterling silver, so the total length is about 18 inches. You always get that two and three-quarter inch extender, so you can adjust it anywhere along the neckline. And then look at the size of these beads. When he says they get some really nice specimens, let me read you uh, some of these sizes. Sizes. A 10 by 15 millimeter, a 10 by 14 millimeter, and these are done in this sort of freeform shape. Look at the fun shape of these beads. They're actually done almost like on a spiral. So it's it's not that expected shape of a bead. They're not pre-cut or pre-calibrated. They each have this fun, a very fluid and freeform design that's so unique. And then you've got those rondelles. And again, it's two layers. So it's really like getting two necklaces. You're getting all of this for under $115. And it's all brand new. So if you've never tried J. King's Aquamarine, uh, this is perfect for you, March babies. This is your birthstone, and you know, March is just around the corner. So maybe this is a gift for mom or for your daughter. Do you know someone who's expecting a baby in March? Uh, this would be a beautiful gift for that new mom celebrating that March birthstone. It's also a stone with a lot of ancient history. I mean, Romans carved it, the Greeks used it as a wedding gift. It was also said to be a stone of protection and help you get safe passage across a stormy sea. Supposed to render soldiers invincible. Have you heard some of those um, fun yeah, I've, thoughts I've heard, yeah. on, on the gemstones? I mean, <laughs> a lot of the, the history just, and aqua. It is because so many generations, well, so many ancient civilizations have loved adorning themselves with gemstones, just like we do today, if, for you know, different reasons. I think uh, one of the things, you know, I'm a big um, history guy, right? And I, I love history, and I love uh, when I go to um, when I go to uh, even the most the loca remote locations that I go to. Uh, when you're in the, kind of like the main the main area, they always have some kind of museum. Some of them are yeah. not what you would expect. I mean, it's like something that yeah. somebody has put together they're very proud of, right? Where they've collected. And um, but fun. if you go to any of the major museums, mm -hmm. aquamarine is one of the gemstones that that is in like crown jewels. Um, it's uh, you know at one time it was perceived almost like it's really funny. You know, like um, emeralds, amethyst, things like that actually were, were perceived as higher value right. than diamonds, right? Yeah. And so when you, you know, like when you go and you, and you, you look at like some of these ornate, especially weapons and knives and stuff, they'll be set with all these gemstones and you're looking at it and you'll, the, you can tell what they really loved and they loved the colored stones. Diamonds was kind of like the, just their last <laughs> choice. You know, we, you know, uh, uh, people now, they think yeah. of diamonds and there are certain companies that have marketed that, but a lot of the ancient cultures no. saw a material like this, aquas and amethyst and those types of materials the most prized. as the most prized. It's Cause it's all about the color. If they didn't have a, you know, something to look at it through the lens of a microscope, why not just 
Pick your favorite color and dive right in. <laughs> if you love this color, uh, shop it quickly. Let's go to the phones. Let's say hi to our next caller. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Jay King. You're live with us here on HSN. What's your name, and where are you calling from? My name is Lois, and I'm calling from Virginia. Hi, right. Lois. Welcome to the show. I um, wanted to say hi. Um, it's been a while since I have talked to Jay, and uh, I wanted to tell him that I got the uh, Dream Blue necklace. Oh, right. I love it. I, blue's my favorite color. And my husband got it, said, I'll get it for you for your birthday because I have a birthday coming up this month. And uh, I wanted to ask him where it was from. Okay, the Dream Blue Opal, it comes from yes. India. And uh, to be honest with you, um, in my entire lifetime, okay, I've only bought two different stones that were actually mined oh, yeah. in India. One was Peridot that I got, and this was uh, the second mine find I've ever found. Actually, when they, originally when I first saw it, and they brought it to me and showed me the first sample of the, the raw material, and I said, where is it from? They said, India. I said, no. Because I can't tell you how many people tell me that it comes from India. No, it doesn't. It comes from someplace else in the world, and maybe an Indian trader is, is getting the rough, but it actually is mined in India. I have pictures of the people mining it, and it's all the local village, uh, villages. It comes out of this big open pit mine, and all the local people in the area, um, after the mine was abandoned, it's now it's right. abandoned, and they found these opal seams. So they literally wow. handpicked this. They take pieces of rebar and actually pry it out. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Lois. I'm so glad you called and enjoy your blue and, opal. And your husband and is great and he knows how to stay married. <laughs> he does. You get to pick your own birthday present. Now, we did have some matching earrings that both Laura and I were wearing. However, they have been spoken for. Congratulations. Uh, those were so pretty. Uh, we've got a five and five coming up. So if you want to see the lowest prices we've ever offered on some of our all time fan favorites and customer picks don't go anywhere our five in five is right around the corner let's kick it off let's do five items in five minutes right now check it out <laughs> All right, let's start our five in five with a new low price on our Sunset Jasper. We have a ring, we have earrings, and we also have a necklace for you. You can get them now on the clearance prices, which are the lowest prices we've ever offered. So let's give you a quick look. You can choose your favorite between the three, or you can grab all three. Let's see, let me get my hand out of the way. <laughs> here's the earrings, here's the ring, here's the necklace. Wow, Sunset Jasper, that's gorgeous. Yeah, this is actually, um, it's a form of uh, tire iron, um, uh, it's, it's a very heavy uh, material. It comes out of Australia. Um, it, uh, if, you, if, you can, if you know what tiger eye is, this is a form the same way. The miner, they call it desert sunset. If you've ever been in the outback of Australia at, and the sun's going down, you would uh, understand why the miner named it this. It looks just like an Australian sunset, a desert sunset, and it has the property of chatoyancy because it is um, yeah. It is like a tiger eye. And so you're getting, it, it gleams, it has that natural sparkle. It's so pretty. You're getting $80 off the necklace, $40 off the ring, $30 off the earrings. And then let's give you a fiery and vibrant and exciting choice here in carnelians. We haven't seen anything in carnelian yet this hour. And you're getting in on the lowest price we've ever offered. This was just reduced to $54.95 for the necklace. You are getting an opportunity to shop the earrings as well for $29.95. Look at these big nuggets of carnelian, Jay. These are amazing. This is crazy and this, okay, just so you know, it's a natural carnelian. It, uh, it's almost lit with, from end. I mean, you're, that's making a little, you know, you're seeing the translucency of it there. This is a deep, deep, rich orange color, all natural. Um, and this is one of the, uh, probably the, the finest carnelian I've had and people uh, a lot of the carnelian that they think they're getting carnelian they're actually getting colored agates this is a true true carnelian uh, amazing it's a beautiful color when you get this home you'll see there it's kind of light it's not it's like a really nice dark orange and those are all going to go very quickly you're getting the lowest price ever and we have a beautiful redskin turquoise bypass ring for you that's number three of our five in five the lowest price ever is now on your screen it's fifty dollars off this is a highly sought after form of turquoise right am i wearing the right ring oh 
At $69.95. Okay, I'm wearing the right ring. Perfect. All right, Jake is shaking his head and the, no, <laughs> wasn't okay, sure. Yeah, they're, they're tucked in. Okay. okay, this look is, at the red, size this of these is red, skin, red skin turquoise. Okay, look yeah. at the, this is like the blue, blue, blue. This is highly, highly collectible. Okay, this is uh, beyond collectible. You can only find it in private collections. People that know I have this is, have offered me 10 times what I would really? actually be able to cut it and put it in and everything. And there is it's, a ton it, very, very of limited. sterling silver yes. in I mean, there. And what's cool with the bypass is it, it has that... Uh, it has just a certain feel to it. It's big and bold. And again, these are all crazy, like crazy prices. You, you couldn't make any of these for this. You might want to go up a size because it's like a cigar band style that just wraps all the way around your finger if you need to. Otherwise, all right, are you ready for this? Maybe we should just stop the show. These are some of the biggest beads that you're going to find in the entire hour. The multicolor agate bead necklace features honeycomb agate. I hope you can get a close look at this spider web design that's in each and every stone. This is really unusual. Okay, and this is Mother Nature, and this is um, another project uh, by our friend Sue. And you can see this is what they call honeycomb agate. You can see it's it got, in the it, it's got, there. It's yeah. actually, if you go close, when you get this at home, you'll see what makes it so unique and so different. It has actually little natural spider webs. You see the spider webs in that? Is that cool or what? It's, it's honeycomb so agate. Cool. And, they, and what she does is she te teaches the local villagers. This is found in a meteorite field. And, and they go around, they hand select it. When they get enough of it, then we're able to, when I, I actually designed this, I wanted something big and bold, but when you, mm -hmm. um, it, it actually looks like something that you just want to take it and eat it. It almost looks like rock yeah. candy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is big and bold and gorgeous and good enough to eat. That's 20 inches in length. You're gonna love the size of those beads. That is our number five in five. And we've got one more, right? Is it the Chrysophay's ring? Yeah, here okay. is our number one of all the five and fives. Uh, I had my heart set on this one. I love the color green. This is a lush and verdant Caribbean green color. This is the Chrysophay's. Okay. Look at the size. And it's this, like a slab okay. and this of is Chrysophay's. The last of the last of this material. And um, this is Belmont Chrysoprase. I did a huge a deal, um, um, uh, a mining deal, about 10, 12 years ago, and we kept all of the high, super, super high grade. This is the highest grade of the material that we got out of the Belmont. Um, it, this is amazing. Stone. It's a huge, and here again, um, every ring, it's the, it's the, it's the creme de la creme of the material that came out of that. So jump right in, and uh, you might want to wear that. Uh, go size down, maybe, just because of the size of the stone is so impressive. So I'm going to put that on my index finger. We'll let you know when any of those five and fives sell out. However, it's it's the moment that all of the May babies have been waiting for. Here is your birthstone, and it is so rare. I have to say, as a May baby, you hardly ever get to find affordable emeralds that you can actually buy and wear, that you don't have to keep in a safe or you don't have to save for an entire lifetime. I've even traveled to Colombia and tried to shop for emeralds. They're very expensive. Somehow J. King found a way to bring you an entire strand of emeralds, very similar to the sapphire necklace we had last hour, which I think entirely sold out, right? I think the sapphire necklace was totally spoken for. Now you're getting a chance to shop for emeralds. We have an event price for you. Get this home on FlexPay for $54. I, I can't even begin to describe how exciting this is. I, I don't think I've ever seen an entire strand of emeralds in this size. I mean, each one of these could be a ring. Could be we, the center stone on a ring. Okay, and this is, um, I, I, I messed up um, when, okay, when we originally designed this, right, um, I designed it with, with Brazilian emerald. At that time, um, I, I was also working on this deal in uh, Zambia, and this is Zambian material. Okay. So the, the bracelet, the earrings, and the ring have the correct story card if you get it, if you ever look this up. But I just want to assure you, when I got out here, I said, I don't think so, and I saw, this is, I guarantee it's a Zambian material. I've done, okay, in, in 42 years of doing this, uh, in 2018, we launched the first emerald I'd ever done in my life. It was the very first time I'd worked with emerald. And um, uh, I have been to Columbia too, and I've been actually to the mines in the jungles, which wow. is another different story. I mean, it's a little um, very dicey. Um, I've always, <laughs> I've been trying to put together emerald deals my whole entire career. 
Uh, last year, in 2018, I was able to do a, a Brazilian emerald. It blew out. Um, this is a brand new mine find. It's a brand new material out of Zambia. They're also uh, getting some amazing emerald out of Ethiopia, believe it or not. But this material, I love it. It's, and this is a true emerald. It tests as emerald. Uh, look at the size of these beads. We're really trying to give you the biggest bang for the buck. But if you, if you like new and different, if you like new mine finds, you really might want to think about this. This is the very first time that, that we've actually launched this rough material. So this is a world launch. Uh, I, unfortunately, I, there's no way right now with uh, the availability that I'll be able to get anything where we could do like a today's special or anything like this. This is very limited. These are very limited in quantity. When they sell out, they sell out. I, I, I used all the material that I was able to obtain on the trip. Um, we're working on now getting some more Ethiopian emerald, and we're also working on getting some more of this material. This is actually a higher grade material than we were getting out of Brazil. I, I personally believe it's, it's a higher grade. Wow. But look at the size of this, the graduation, and then you see how it sparkles. Look at the sparkle on this and the colors. You've got the real light, light greens all, all the way to medium greens and the dark greens. Look at how beautiful this is. Let me give you a quick, couple quick updates uh, before we go back to that emerald. Uh, one of our five and fives has sold out. Congratulations. Uh, I'm so glad you were jumping in early on that. And the crystal oh, phase ring. Congratulations. Yeah, so I'm also, able to I'll take get that. that one off and I'll... I'll go back to my blue forest. I, <laughs> there's so many fun <laughs> rings to choose from. But let me walk you through a few of the details of the emerald necklace. Like all of his necklaces, they're all beautifully hand selected, hand cut, and hand wired. And each one is set with solid sterling silver. We've got this extender. Gives you an extra two and three quarters of an inch in addition to the 18 inch length. And then you have the beautiful faceted rondelles that go all the way down. And they're gonna graduate in size. So the biggest, I mean, I love that the beads just gonna wrap all the way around your neckline. And the larger beads are at the bottom. And these range between, oh, six to eight to nine to 10 millimeters and some of the free form designs are six by eight millimeters you see these fun little rondelles just to interrupt the flow of the rondelles he put in a little barrel shaped stone right here and that's just fun to sort of anchor the two parallel sides of the necklace but down here look at the size of these emeralds tell us about the color this is all natural this is all natural color, and just right? so you know you know with emeralds and what does you know, that mean emeralds have to be like a, a certain color you know and to test as uh, emerald and that's what's so difficult like i said my entire career i had, i i have been to the mines in colombia i've been to the mines um well colombia used to be this you know um actually used, they were the, the kings, right? Mm -hmm. They really didn't find it, uh, there weren't really, now uh, throughout the world they're finding more deposits like oh, um, Brazil, so uh, uh, just recently Zambia, just recently now um, Ethiopia is coming up with some amazing emeralds. Um, but most people don't realize, you know, that emeralds are actually rarer than diamond. And to be honest with you, if they were uh, marketed they would be much more expensive than any diamond. They're, they're very, very rare. A any emerald, it's, it's rare, it's, their emeralds are rarer than diamond. So, um, I, you know, any, anytime I see emerald material, now you have to understand too, okay? Uh, a Colombian emerald necklace in this size in, in, of the Colombian emerald would cost you probably around $50,000. <laughs> Okay, now I'm talking wholesale Ooh, here, yeah. I'm not talking retail, yeah. right? So if, you you did a, if you did a Colombian emerald, yeah. and it was this size, and passage, just like Sarah, Sarah's very knowledgeable about jewelry, um, you know, you're, you're looking literally 50 grand. Wow, okay, so you could have grand. a new car, or you could have a <laughs> Colombian emerald necklace. So, uh, let me just give you a so quick update. This, this is your way of having a brand new emerald necklace that's a true yeah. emerald, and this is a brand new mine find. It's, it's better than the Brazilian. It's better than the Brazilian emerald. So it's upgrading. So I'm getting slowly, I'm, I'm inching up, inching up, but I, I'm doing something that's affordable. But emerald, you would never see this. Okay, never we see have uh, about price. 300 or so remaining. How, uh, okay, 300 have already been spoken for and now we have fewer than 200. You're seeing it here for the first time. Once this is gone, I can't imagine if or when we'll be able to get any well, of these back. The, when the, you, the big problem with this, this to be honest with you, is, okay, so 
I'm negotiating right now. I'm also ne negotiating for this Ethiopian material. I'm trying to get emeralds, I've, I've, but I've been trying for 40 plus years so to get emeralds in the life. So when was the last time that you, that you had a, an emerald necklace this size, this price? Well, I've never done an emerald necklace ever this size. Okay. Ever. This is in, your in 2018, we did the Brazilian emerald, the very first emerald in my career. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not that I haven't been to emerald fields and emerald mines. I've been, that's what I'm saying. I've tried to put this together. My whole career, I've tried to put emeralds in my line. But now, you have different op options. Just like I said, now there's Ethiopia. Um, you have, uh, this is Zambian material here. So this is uh, the Zambian material. So, you know, it, it just is really, really, uh, it's kind of cool, um, our Ethiopian material. So it's, it's, um, it's really, you're getting more latitude now on where they're finding. In fact, they just found uh, emerald in Madagascar is what they're telling me. Wow. I haven't seen the rough yet. So mm -hmm. we're just always looking for new opportunities. And I know a lot of you have already recognized how special this is, how unique this opportunity is, and you're already diving in. Uh, it's probably not gonna last the clock, so you need to place a call right now or go online to hsn.com. I would hate for you to miss out on this. It's, it's gone. Okay. Congratulations. Don't, don't hang up. We're counting we, you we, if you're already we've in got, we've the got ordering process. we've got items that match back to it, We too. do. Let's start with the cuff, uh, which I said before the show, this is probably one of the most magnificent emerald cuffs I've ever laid eyes on. And to get the cuff, it's affordable at $169.98, and those are not small, genuine okay, and emeralds. The, and the, this is the most valuable stone in okay. the entire barrel family. And they're they're not they're not heat treated. They're not oil treated. This is the natural color. Now, I personally handpicked this material. So do you want to hold you, this? Yeah, if you don't like it, I, I will be totally <laughs> heartbroken. It's gonna, it's but gonna break you, my heart. To okay, let it'll you break. Hold it'll this, break but. my heart. It'll break my heart. But if you look at this, okay, <laughs> when I selected this material, I actually selected. I took all the different colors. I graded out the top grade of material that came in this, okay? So what I did, and purposely, the cutters and I, we got together, we hand selected all these. So you see, you've got this in the middle, this color, and then the darker, mm -hmm. see how it's a little Those darker? And then the lighter. So they, they match to go to the quality. Do you realize the time and effort that went into wow. doing this? And I the spent a lot of, sterling of time. Silver. No, and I spent a lot of time. You never see emeralds in sterling, okay? And again, th this is usually in gold. Do you That's see how these are so all done? Cool. Uh, this is all done by hand. Mm -hmm. So this is all, even the silver work on this, this is all done with sterling silver sheet material. So what, what does that mean? That means that you have to have silversmiths okay that's the difference between me and a lot of people yeah. right when you stamp something <laughs> yeah, it's not mass produced yeah when you stamp something you don't need silversmiths when you cast something you don't need silversmiths when you hand make you have to have silversmiths and we do it old school and from sterling silver sheet there's a little bit of flexibility do, do you on look that even on laura's do you so, see how how those are all yeah. matched you have the darker, you the can, medium, the light. You can give it a little squeeze to get the perfect size. Fits up to about an eight inch wrist. So I think you're gonna absolutely love that. We have a ring for you as well. And earrings. So the earrings in the ring are your choices. And we have uh, fewer than a hundred to go around now of each. I mean, if you just wanna start your emerald collection right here, know how hard it is to find emeralds. You could get the earrings home for less than $55. You get the ring home for less than $90. Remember $5 to fill your cart. That's with all of our shipping and handling with Jay King. Five flex pay to get it home. I love the size of the ring. It's so wearable. You have that split and, shank design. Okay, and the, the thing again here, these are all handcrafted, but look at the quality of the emerald. So the, the quality of the emerald in the earrings, the cuff, and the ring was the top grade materials that we got. The, the necklace, we, you know, you have to include in the necklace, you have to include some of the lower grades, you just have to. Otherwise, you know, it would, it would just, you know, you, it would make it unaffordable. So then we took the top, top material, just so I'm just being honest here when we make this, this so is the pretty. upper grade emeralds that, that come from this, from this deposit. This is the perfect gift for all the May babies, or you know anybody who's expecting a May baby, uh, give them their original birthstone. It's also the color of luck, the color of good fortune, rebirth, and renewal, you're going to love it. And then we'll be back on the other side with the real blue opal and so much more, don't go away.
Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should something go wrong. And portable electronics feature accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. I've spent a lifetime in the kitchen all over the world. And I've seen what it takes to make cooking easier, faster, and more simple. You don't need a professional kitchen to be able to cook a delicious meal. With the right kitchen tools, you'll be able to cook, create, and celebrate. Don't miss the return of Curtis Stone's Kitchen Solutions, only on HSN. Last month on HSN, jean queen Diane Gilman sold her 10 millionth pair of jeans. It's my 25th anniversary this year. It's my 10 million jean celebration this year, and it's my return to health celebration. What more could a girl ask for? Now she's back with a brand new Today Special, a gabardine blazer you can dress up or down. Try the tailored look with Diane Gilman and DG2 Jeans. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. shopping everyone my name is Sarah Anderson Jay King is in the house he is the master designer our resident rock hound he has literally traveled the world the stories he even was telling me during the break are wild and crazy the adventures you've been on he flies his own plane and it would not be a Tucson gem event without his famous dreamy Indian blue opal a stone maybe unlike anything else you've ever seen it's mysterious it's captivating a stone of exceptional beauty the size the presence and the beautiful shades of blue here are going to just sweep you off your feet and today it's 60 dollars off for our big gem event price jump right in because it's going fast less than 18 dollars a month to get it home we're celebrating with five flex pay those are five interest-free payments we send it to you right after your first flexible payment and then you get to enjoy it and get it home you always have a 30-day money-back guarantee with anything you shop for today with jay and it's also just five dollars to fill your cart so five dollars shipping and handling whether you're buying one item or five items or 50 items the sky's the limit it's our big gem event of the year and this is one you don't want to miss we're going to hear all about it and uh, jay this is just so beautiful i love the color of these blues and it's all natural right it's the, yeah there's no there's no color treat on this this is all a natural blue opal and what makes this so unique and so different and people i mean um you know i i didn't know that they were going to do this to be honest with you okay but I have to tell you, this is literally, I always talk about opportunity buys. Like when I don't make something, sometimes I'll bring something on. And to tell you the truth, when I get an opportunity to buy something and it's, I know it's below cost, they couldn't even pay for the material for that. I, I take advantage of that and then I pass it along to you. Well, this is your opportunity to do an opportunity buy. Um, okay, in all my entire career, so I've been doing this 42 years, is when, I say 42 years because that's when I started paying taxes. Okay, so I, that's officially when I started my business. Let's just say before we'll that pretend. I was in the jewelry business, but it wasn't the official jewelry business. The official jewelry business I've been doing for 42 years. Uh, I, started, I started my company when I was about 20. Um, now, I will, I, will tell you, I will tell you this. In, during that time, um, I've only, this is the third natural blue opal that I've ever gotten to work with. My very first was uh, in Peru. 
Peruvian blue opal, and you probably know about that, Sarah, you know, like the Peruvian heard, material, yeah. right? If you have Peruvian Great. blue opal right now, it's the same as having like liquid gold, okay? Um, there's very little out of it. Every now and then I'll find somebody that has a private stash and they've, you know, they've been sitting on it for their entire lifetime and they realize that nobody, you know, their grandkids aren't gonna take it or whatever, or, you know, or don't appreciate it and I get it. Uh, and then I work it, I, I brought several on and sold it, it just sells out in a flash, but you just, you just can't get it anymore. The second blue opal, was actually uh, mined, uh, a friend of mine that mines in Oregon and Idaho. Uh, it was right on the border, actually, if you crossed, it was in Oregon, but, it, it, but um, the, we, the road was on Idaho, and then the deposit was in Oregon, literally across, the, there was like a small stream <laughs> river, so we walked from Idaho to Oregon. Okay, so it was a, what they call a, a, a geothermal deposit, so um, it was a small pocket, um, and you know, th this is, opals are created, um, um, you know, in, uh, from, you know, ig igneous uh, eruptions, right? Geothermal, superheated um, silicas is, is how they're mm -hmm. formed. So um, that was a, a blue opal we did. We did it as a Today Special. We brought it on, it blew out. People went crazy, they bought it. Do you know, and then for about 10 years, I, I still have people, asking me, are you ever gonna get any more of that material? <laughs> and the answer is no. I mean, it was one stope that we got in, we bought the whole run, the whole stope, and he's never ever gotten any sense. That was the, the one, they found it that one time, that one pocket, that was it. So when they brought this to me, this is my third, mm -hmm. third blue opal. Do we have an update? Sure, Jay, sorry for the interruption. Congratulations. Uh, the ring I'm wearing is sold out, so. Congratulations. The emerald necklace is sold out. The emerald ring is sold out. Do we have any of the emerald cuffs remaining? Just a handful of the cuffs remaining, and I think the earrings are also spoken for. So congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, and when you get it's that so and you see, see the quality, enjoying. especially in the ring, mm -hmm. the earrings and the cuff yeah, is, is stunning. Um, so with this material, and uh, you know what I gotta tell you, I'm a skeptic and I always gotta go see, right? I mean, I, I grew up in a very rural family. I mean, my, my family really, when Jeff Foxworthy makes redneck jokes, I relate to them. <laughs> Where did you grow up? Uh, well, a uh, very, very rural. I grew up in in New Mexico, but New Mexico. we we can, no, but Colorado, and we we came from a ranching, farming, man, um, mining family. Okay, all, my whole extended family is all rednecks. Okay, um, in a good way. <laughs> I mean, when I say redneck, I don't mean like. I mean, uh, we're very rural people. Okay, we're not. We don't live well, in cities. Yeah. Okay, we fish and hunt yeah. and do all that. Right. Um, so, uh, but you know, because of growing up like that, I always want to see it. You know, I, I, I trust, but I, I want to verify. So um, when they brought this opal to me, the rough, and literally had a handful of it, and I know the guy really well. I mean, I, I respect him, I know him very well. And I said, where, oh, where is it from? And he said, India. I said, no, it's not. Because <laughs> everybody says it's from India. And it's not. I mean, you know, like, uh, do you know I've had people uh, bring lapis to me, trying to sell me lapis, and I say, where is it from? They say, India. No, it's not. Or they'll say, Pakistan. No, it's not. It, you know, maybe a trader or something got it, but it only comes from the Hindu Kush region of Afghanistan. Right? So that's where it came from, right? It might have come through your country, but it, you didn't mine it, right? So, you, the, or the mine's not there. So he made me a liar, okay? Because <laughs> this is mined in India. It's all done by hand. Wow. This is like, you know, like sometimes you just see crazy, crazy deals, okay? And this is it. Now, I have to tell you, we did this as a Today Special. It took me about two years to put this together, put the rough material to do that uh, Today Special. We sold 12,000 of them that day, 12,000. These are the last of the remaining ones that we had. When I came on here. What happens when these are gone? They're gone, okay. Do you here, have any more? Here's the thing, can I get more of this material? I'm working on it right now. Actually, I'm working on, on doing what they call the royal blue. You're gonna see a little of that. That was the real, real deep, 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 deep blue. I mean, it's just the creme of the crop. I'm working on that. Uh, I'm working on more of this material. I, I hope to have yeah. this in my line. But here's the deal. It's not the material, it, the material is unusual and it's rare, right? The price, I am the manufacturer. I am guaranteeing you, even to sell it at the original price, do you realize how hard I had to work? I had to really 
get my pencil out. I almost wore my pencil out. <laughs> we just worked on such a thin, 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 I mean, really almost no margin to be able to do that. And so just because we wanted people to have a great experience, right? So this the, is like a true treasure the, for, for this you, is a those treasure of you that are searching a, for treasure at today. At a ri ridiculous price. <laughs> it's get, ridiculous. You couldn't make it and sell it for this. Mm. And let's go through all the different shades of blue that you're getting here, Takes. I really want you to experience how pretty these are. I mean, you have some sort of real pale blue. Okay, so you got light. Sky blue. Medium sky blue. Light blue. And then this, like a, see this right here? Like a denim blue Do too, you see, right? Okay, but see that color? color right there? Yeah. Okay, that's this like color a, right there, that's, that's like called a, royal blue. This is the royal blue. Really? Royal blue. Now that material, less than 5%, less okay. than 5% of the material that they get, that they mine, um, mm -hmm. is, and you don't really, um, uh, also the size, right? Yeah, because is, some of these are, are yeah, really the, large. Well, the, the, royal, uh, the royal blue pieces and stuff like that, 11 to, by get, eight. to get any, any of them that are of any size is almost impossible. So what did I want to do with the necklace originally was I combined all the colors, right? So you got every color, and these are all the natural colors. So you got light, medium, and dark. Mm -hmm. So if you're wearing denim, if you're wearing a white t-shirt and jeans, if you've got your jean jacket on, you have some beautiful sort of uh, pale greens and blues like you see Laura wearing. If you're wearing your linen colors, a taupe, a camel. Uh, this also looks great on chocolate brown. In fact, I'm going to throw it on because I believe my necklace has sold out as well just to show you some more fun ways to wear it. But when you get it home, and if you did have a chance to order two today, you could layer because there is an extender on the back, so you can adjust the length of the necklace anywhere between 18 inches, and you can have another two and a half inch extender on it. But then, if you if you did order two, they wouldn't look exactly alike, right? Because they're, they're all... they all sort of have their unique fingerprint. They've right. all been sorted differently, and you'll see different shades. Well, there's no way, think about yeah. this, okay, Mother Nature doesn't make anything matchy-matchy. On these, these are all hand-cut. They're all done. This isn't machine done, okay? They're, they're all cut by hand. They're all from the natural rough. Color. Um, and then they're all hand-fasted from the natural rough. This is not some big operation, okay? This is really, truly a labor of love. And our labor cost on this, that's what I'm saying. Um, but just buying the material, just buying the pieces, the rough material, the pieces of cost, parts are. would cost more than actually what they're actually selling the finished product for here. So uh, are you going to see more material? If you're worried about not being able to get things to match this down the road, well, I'm going to, I'm working on getting more rough. I, it's blue opal is, I mean, uh, it's so rare. Sure. So the, um, I, I'm still trying to work with the, mm -hmm. with the locals. I'm still trying to get them to get more material. I'm starting trying to get them to where they'll grade it a little bit better for us and do different things. So down the road, we can even do more, but it's not going to get any less expensive, right? Um, and it, it probably, if anything, it's going to go up in price just because sure. of everything I'm trying is, to do with it. Is there any special care that you recommend <coughs> uh, for the blue opal? I, I, I say this on everything, right? You know, the biggest thing that you can do is um, store, uh, when you, I, I know it's a pain, okay, and, um, uh, but I got to tell you, I do it with, with my personal jewelry. When you, t when you wear it, take it off, take the time just to wipe it, right? Okay. Because just being out there every day and, um, you know, like, uh, especially um, for, for ladies, because you use a lot more lotions mm -hmm. and powders and perfumes. Uh, all hairspray. of that hairspray, <laughs> it all has different chemicals in it. It Who also me? has acetones, different things, Crunch. right? Crunch. So it's so important if you just take it and wipe it. And okay. they, they come That's with po little idea. polishing cloths when you buy them. But you can get a, you know, a bigger polishing cloth. Just wipe it down like that. And if you can store it back in the bag that it came in and, and keep the anti-tarnish in there and seal it, that will keep the sterling silver pristine yeah, okay and it's so beautifully polished that sterling silver that's on the back but if you love if you love your blues i mean imagine you might not have another matching piece of this particular dreamy blue opal but you probably have lapis you might have aquamarine well this you might okay, have it you can layer I mean, this because it, it goes with all your blue well, gemstones it, it, right here's the main thing with mine finds okay is the fact that these are all uh, gifts from mother nature right 
So they all, be, because we don't use plastics, we don't use glass, we don't use, um, you know, um, if, if we have an enhanced material, we tell you it's enhanced, but we, we try to stay true to a natural color, a natural look. Mm -hmm. And so they all melt together. You can layer them together, mix and match, and that's what's so great. Yeah, have so much fun with that necklace. I'm so thrilled you were watching and you got in on the lowest price we've ever offered. Uh, that one is going very, very quickly. We've got a few minutes left in the hour. I wanna make sure you see See something that you haven't seen yet during our big Tucson gem event and I know you love J King's turquoise this is a Mongolian turquoise bead necklace and, and this is turquoise hill isn't this pretty it's got all the tiny 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 beads and you get this very fluid and very beautiful and incredible look that's getting all five star reviews it's fifty dollars off our regular price it also comes with a solid sterling silver finishing with the extender but uh, tell us about this particular source of turquoise i okay. love the color it's and a real again, bright blue here again it? don't think that i can make this and sell it for this price okay <laughs> please don't. Don't okay. get used to this? Is even, that what you're even saying, original Jakey? price on this, do you realize how hard I work? And, uh, and uh, trust me, okay, I say this um, with confidence. We are the turquoise kings, okay? The only people I am aware of that have more varieties of turquoise than we do are people that have turquoise museums, okay? And that's cheating. <laughs> it's no fair. Okay, but I've got... If you went to my personal collection and you came to my man cave and saw my collection of turquoise, okay, I've... I will say I will compete with a lot of them, okay? But maybe I've got specimens. But this is Turquoise Hill uh, Turquoise. It comes from Mongolia. If you, th This started out, it, it's only been mined for about 10 years. It started out as a copper mine, and then they found gold. So now they're mining mm -hmm. copper, they're gold. And so what's unusual about this mine, some of it's open pit when they were mining copper. They found gold. Now they're actually, uh, it's mining shafts. This pretty. So, and look at the beads. Look, this look is at the, the color. First time. But look at the consistency of the color on this yeah. and the actual, and this is all the natural color. Do you see how vibrant this material yeah, is? Yeah, it's electrifying. It's mind blow. It's just almost like electric, electric blues. And, and that's the kind of blue that you might see where? And like a Sleeping Beauty turquoise? Well, or like, a... you know, Sleeping Beauty kind of set the standard as far as the, the reason there are actually turquoises that I have that, um, that I you know, that are comparable to Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty became a name. It was marketed, but, and mainly because it was sold in Europe. And um, it was only in Europe, when you see it in Europe, Sleeping Beauty uh, was only, you only see it in 18 karat, 22 karat gold, not even 14 karat. Right. They go, it's really known as high. This right here, what I love about this, these are all the natural colors. Isn't but do you see pretty? this? It goes light, medium, dark. But look how color consistent it is. And the vi and it's vibrant. Look at all the, I mean, there glows. are hundreds vibrant. of beads. And notice how they start out small. So they have to be all perfectly matched for size and then slowly graduate a little bit larger and larger and larger. And these are the Heshi beads. So they're okay. very fluid you know they, and silky. They don't string these beads like that though. Do you know how they how do it? How do they it? do it? <laughs> What? So, no, I'm just telling you. That's cool that you would think that, but that's not how it's, these are actually made. Um, they, okay, so you take turquoise okay. and you slice it, right? Oh, they start with one. And then you, okay, you drill it. So yeah. you drill those and you put them up. And so there's all kinds of different sizes and everything on, if you can envision this. They put it on the, like a piano wire, real strong wire. Mm -hmm. They wrap it around. They have these little dowel things sure. that they hold it. They have a flat lap which is a lap with a diamond dust on yeah. it. And so then it uh, has water that keeps it wet. And then they that. sit there, I actually can do this. This is kind of how I started. And you take it there and you work it and you roll it uh, and it keeps working. Yes. The more pressure you put on it, so you can it goes smaller. Get the polish. And then you take less pressure off at an angle. So, pretty. so it's all made as a necklace. So, okay. and, then, and then they take that and then they string that. It's, it's really beautiful. I love all those different little beads. It's so silky and fluid on the neckline as well. Okay, uh, now the left side of your screen is gonna be a little bit of a recap of everything that we've shown you this hour. I should say what's left. Uh, that, that big ring that I was wearing earlier, that's the blue forest ring. You can look for the item number and if you need to write down any item numbers or make your final decisions, do so by watching the left-hand side of your screen. While we dive into this next ring, which I have to show you, uh, is a three-dimensional design. 
design. This is the first time you're seeing this also from the Turquoise Hill collection. It has two beautiful pear-shaped turquoise designs on top. It is all beautifully bezel set in solid sterling silver. And let me show you the inside and let me show you the bottom because the bottom of the ring okay, is put, the same up. shape. Yeah, it's a Euro shank <laughs> that's polished and it's done in the same design. I'm gonna set it down for you because it's what Euro shanks are famous for. With a fully finished under gallery, it's like a little miniature work of art, can you see that? We can have like your own little statue. You know, <laughs> if you're if you've got um, if you've got a showcase and you want to sell anything, this is a great way to display rings. Is to have the euro um, the euro shake. Isn't on that them. pretty? And sort of a bypass design. You have those two, almost like they look like a drop of water. They look like a little drop of dew. And this is turquoise hill, same thing. But pretty. this is like the creme de la creme mm. of the material. This is all That's the triple A grade material. Well, we have to wrap up our okay. Jay King show. Great to see you. See Jay. me tomorrow. Tomorrow, thank tomorrow, you. It's always tomorrow fun. Tomorrow you're back at 1 p.m. In the meantime, we're going to turn you over to Curtis Stone and his gang of chefs right after this. Have a wonderful time. Kitchen all over the world, whether it's a five-star restaurant or whether it's someone's home. You know, when I started cooking in people's homes, I started thinking to myself, there's got to be an easier way.